I learned about uh, passive and residual income when I was about 17 years old. And so I knew that through owning a barbershop, I would be able to lease out spaces um, and get some passive residual income from that. Um, so money did play a part in it, but the other aspect of it was I saw how powerful a barbershop can be in the black community as far as it being a community. So, uh, the barber I used to cut with named SD, uh, my partner at uh, Roger Davis's Pops. Um, he used to say, man, barbershop is a black man's country club. You know, you go there, you get to speak, uh, speak your mind, have these debates, have these uh, conscious conversations, um, spend some time, enjoy yourself, get pampered, all of that type of stuff that you would get at a country club. That's true, that's true. Get that at the barbershop. Like that. yeah, that's, that's right. Network, with other business professionals, all that kind of stuff. Right. And so I saw that, and I, and I really wanted to cultivate my own version of that. Because frankly, everybody's shop has their own version of the country club. Right. And so for mine, this is just kind of my, my flavor of it. And I'm looking to expand it, and I got some more. Some more things that I would like to do with it, so it's going to be exciting to see how far we can take it. So I know you kind of.